In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple setup to a blitz that you can use to get some glitchy pressure in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. It's completely free to do that, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, guys, in this video, we're going to be going over my nickel 245 odd defense. I'm going to show you a glitchy little um, kind of four-man looping pressure out of the LB cross three show two this is one of my favorite plays in the game it's probably my favorite blitz just because um, it's super simple to set up and it's really passive pressure we're only gonna send four people at the quarterback but we're gonna frequently be able to loop in and get good pressure this has also got phenomenal inside zone defense attached to it uh, basically just stock it's gonna slow down or at least stop uh, it's going to stop or at least slow down inside zone so that being said let's jump into the video if you want to get my nickel 245 odd defensive guide i'm going to put a link to that in the description i just launched that this weekend and so far i've gotten a ton of great feedback people have loved the pressure concepts in this guide um, we're able to get some very consistent two and three man nano blitzes so i absolutely love this defense this year this defense is probably my favorite right now because of the fact that it has great pressure combined with great personnel there's a way to get um there's a way to get several uh, safeties on there, so it's going to be basically like 3-3-5 normal. And then the beauty of this is in the Bears playbook, we have 3-3-5 wide and nickel triple. So we've got really good complementary formations as well. So that being said, let's jump into the video. If you want to get the 2-4-5 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description. But we're going to be going over the play LB Cross 3 show 2 out of the 2-4-5 odd in the Bears playbook. Now guys, from a setup perspective, to be honest with you, literally all we're going to do is we are going to crash our defensive line to the right and we're going to zone that middle linebacker on the right and then we're going to come down and hover with our user and we're going to stand right about here um, and as you can see here it's got the center shadow and the the guard so there's shadows underneath them that's going to help with the pressure and what you'll see here is we're just going to loop in now again this is not always going to come in as you saw it came in on the play before this but it didn't come in this place so um, a couple things that you can do to make this blitz a little bit better um, number one is to go ahead and contain uh, just go ahead and just simply contain once you crash your d-line you honestly don't even need to crash your d-line and i'll show you another setup here in just a second but what you'll see is that this looper it like I said, it's kind of a passive blitz. It doesn't always come in, but when it does come in, it's really, really, it, it is really, really effective. Um, and the closer you can get to the center, in my opinion, the better. So as you see right there, we're able to kind of loop around and just kind of get some simple block shed pressure. Now, if you want to guarantee your pressure, all you have to do um, is just globally blitz your linebackers, and then you're going to zone out that right side guy just like that and you're gonna see here this is a five-man blitz and this normally will come in um, off that left edge now the one thing I will say about that left edge pressure that is really really important to point out is one thing that you might have to do to get that uh, is to just go ahead and press your pressure coverage or maybe just even move this guy just a little bit to kind of fix his blitz angle because for whatever reason his blitz angle is kind of broken um, but you'll see right here this way it'll typically come in now another Another way that you can kind of get this to work a little bit better um, is through baseline and pressing. But if you baseline and press, please make sure that you spread your D-line. Otherwise, it definitely won't work. But you'll see we'll create this look right here. And this look is not too shabby as far as the pressure goes. I find it to be a little bit more consistent like this. And there you see the looper coming through that A-gap. Now, I will also tell you that this is a little bit less consistent in practice mode uh, than it is in game mode. Okay, so in game mode, you're going to get a lot more consistency with this. Um, that's just been my experience. But as you see right here, when we base a line, it normally does help improve the consistency of the pressure um, as you can see right there and it's just sending four people now the next thing that I want to show you is how this works against a gun bunch when they flip their gun bunch and so that what, what that means is when the bunch uh, is to the left side of the field this uh, de this defense is going to be consistently better so again it's the exact same setup but then all we're going to do 
is again, we're just going to zone out that linebacker on that side, and we're going to use her this safety right here. And what you're going to see is the snap of the ball. This is going to be very consistent on this side of the field. As you can see right there, that looping pressure right through the gap really does a great job, in my opinion, um, at just you know simply putting us in a really good position uh, to be able to play some passive pressure. What I love about this is we can run Mabel coverage. We can Mabel to the left side of the field. We could have a hard flat on the right side of the field. And still get fairly consistent pressure even if you don't get the pressure completely clean i find that that pressure oftentimes will block shed relatively quickly so i love this blitz i think this blitz is a lot of fun to run and again the setup's honestly really simple i like to just base on impress out of it i think that that's the easiest way to get this to be fairly consistent but as you can see i mean it's not 100 percent by any means i'm not saying that it is in our defensive ebook we do have a way to run this blitz that is 100 percent going to come in against anything i find this also to be a very good play uh to use if my opponent is running to wanting to run a lot of trips tight end or gun bunch this is probably my favorite defense to run uh, against somebody that does that again if you play around with like kind of where your user stands you'll probably find that you can do some things to kind of improve the consistency but all in all guys this is a very good blitz because it's just sending four people you're only sending four people and it's also this is the other thing that i really like about this blitz it's a symmetrical blitz what i mean by that is we've got hard flat coverage on both sides of the field we've got pretty balanced defense across the board and then as you see we're just making plays with our user in the middle field and we've got so much coverage on the field so um like i said this is a really good blitz in terms of its just simplicity and also in terms of the fact that you know you're going to be able to have really good inside zone defense from this you're going to be able to have really good you know a lot of things are going to go your way uh, as a result of running this defense so i'd encourage you to try it out this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game as you can see right there the four-man pressure again a couple things real quick just all you have to do and, and i'm trying to make it as simple as possible because you really don't have to do anything you just need to zone the linebacker on the left and that can literally be your entire setup and i'll show you what this looks like um, if you do that you'll see there it comes in um, so that can literally be your entire setup now if you want to ask me what i think works best baseline press spread your line and then what i would recommend is crash your line uh, to the bunch side and then QB contain at the end. I find that to be the most consistent for me. And as you can see there, whenever we do that, that's been coming in pretty cleanly. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a four man looping pressure. It doesn't always come in, but I would say it comes in if you do the setup about 75% of the time. And we actually have figured out a way to make it come in pretty much 100% of the time. We put that into the ebook. So if you want to get my 245 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description. You can get that entire defensive guide for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the guide, go ahead and go down to the description. Click that website link. It'll take you right over to the website where we're selling the guide. And you can get that. We'll get you all squared away within about five minutes. Thanks a lot, guys.